you know, so the little, little teeth go up and to the top of the motor. So when I assemble, I lay them out uh, and mark the fronts and the tops. That way, as I'm going through ringing, I don't have to uh, kind of think about what the orientation is. Checked uh, end gap and skirt clearance and all that good stuff. So this is just the uh, quick part of assembly. Which piston number is this? Uh, this is piston 8. So I... Uh, all of the rods are already numbered. I uh, mark the fronts and number them when I'm putting rods on and then just keep them in the same order. That's it. <laughs> so I a little bit most four strokes run uh, uh, an oil ring at the bottom here which are or an oil scraper uh, and then your second ring is a wiper and your top ring is your compression ring so it's pretty standard now to have three rings yeah for uh, for a four stroke engine yes and I mark the front of the box and so I just turn everything so it's pointing the same direction uh, on assembly and then I don't have to worry about getting them turned the wrong way. So if you look at these, front and rear of the rod matters. Uh, so once you put the bearing insert in, you can see that it's a little bit offset. Mm -hmm. And so that means that when this pair comes together, uh, these are the sides that are next to each other on the crank journal. <coughs> and then this outside is got a space uh, for the radius on the crank journal itself so that it doesn't rub on the crankshaft. Gotcha. And rides on the bearing. Pretty important to keep those in the right space. Yes. Okay. So uh, we're let me grab the pistons in. Let me grab it. Make sure everything's nice and clean, eh? Yep, nice and clean. I always use uh, lint free ones here just to make sure I don't leave those red ones. Uh, a lot of times leave towel fibers in there, which can clog up oil pumps. So we avoid that. So we're going to put a piston in, correct? Yep. We'll get uh, this first one dropped in here and repeat until done. And that's the tool that's going to help you with piston rings, right? Yes. It's a ring compressor. Ring compressor. Same as with, we did with the main bearings with a little assembly lube on all these. ready. So which piston is this? Uh, so this is number one piston. I'll uh, we'll just check our top and uh, top and bottom ring orientation and uh, we'll oil up the the rings in the side the skirt a little bit uh, so that they slide in there easy and a little bit in the cylinder. This is where the process starts to get a little bit messy. So once you put them all in there, then you'll torque them in. Or yep. You do it one at a time. No, I, I do them all at once. I just run the caps in tight uh, so the burning shells don't slide. I'll snug them all up. 
And how do you know the position, the correct position? So this was stamped on disassembly. So they're actually stamped with the numbers on the side of the uh, rod okay. caps there. Uh, if those aren't on there, then what you go by is the uh, shoulder exposure. So if we look at this crank here, there's a, a little tough to see in the camera angle, but right here at the tip of my finger, that's actually a radius. And so that's what that clearance is for uh, between the bearing shell and the side of the connecting rod. And then hence why you number those rascals. Yes. Yeah, so you can figure it out. It just takes a little bit longer. Uh, laying them out and make sure they turn the right direction. Because uh, when you hang the piston on, uh, they're marked as, as a front orientation from the manufacturer. Okay. There's one down and uh, seven to go.